The Bruins bounce back from falling in a game for the first time in the postseason. Beth, I talked about those rotations. UCLA starting in the same rotation they've used all year long. Merriweather at left front. I like that. Nebraska has rotated one working on matchups. To his point, Nebraska. Double hit called on UCLA in the blue jerseys. Nebraska in the white and red. And Nebraska gets the first point here in game three. Spicer, the quick set for Merriweather. They hook up on that one for the kill. Merriweather, Merriweather with over 1,000 kills in her career. Had 13 kills and five blocks in their region final win over Hawaii. The 3 0 sweep out in Honolulu. And we've talked on several occasions about how well the Bruins have been able to keep the crowd out of the match thus far. They started to come alive at the end of that second game. Merriweather gets another one. And this is why Andy Banikowski starts in the that same rotation Kylie all Daly. season long because Nana Weather, Merriweather has such an impact in the front row that you want to use her across all three rotations early in the game to try and get a quick lead. She has really come out of her shell and the coaching staff encouraging her to be more animated, more energetic out there on the court. As Corey Cooper responds with the point. And she has quietly had a great match so far. Corey Cooper, her first year as a starter, six kills on 11 swings, no errors. You couldn't ask any more out of the freshman. Ball bouncing back and forth. Mancuso goes for the kill. Spicer looks to Merriweather. Larson there defensively, and Stalls puts it down. Stalls with a great athletic lineage. Her dad, Dave, played for both the Raiders and the, Cow the Cowboys, went to a Super Bowl with both teams. Crossbeam serving. Spicer sends it a long way over to Katie Carter. Kill who gets the kill. Katie Carter, Playing in with the hand injury, Johnson, she's now got four Holy kills Lyman. in the match. And that is below her season average, averages more than three kills per game, playing through pain, just a courageous performance so far. Andy didn't know if she'd even be able to compete today. Carter tried for the swing kill again. Katie Carter. Don't forget Katie Carter Point is a UCLA. senior, and she, I think they have to carry her off the court for her <laughs> not to compete tonight. From Steamboat Springs, Colorado, one of the co-captains of this team. Now serve point. Nebraska. Into the net. Nebraska gets the, the point. You see Lyman saying, hey, that's my fault. Six service errors now on the night for Andy Banikowski's club. Sarah Pavin with the jump serve. Spicer surveys the defense. Feeds it over to Carter. It Missed it long. Nebraska. Interesting, coming in, getting ready to come off the bench. Becky Mayring, we wondered how long Into it would take. Katie Carter Becky with Mayring. that injured hand being replaced by Becky Mayring, who took a year off as a red shirt to have a baby. Has a little one-year-old son named Mason, her husband Luke on the soccer team here in attendance to cheer her on. UCLA able to get the kill from Allie Daly. There is Becky Mayring from Huntington Beach. I think the kid's going to be special because he was born last year while UCLA was in a match with USC. So he's already a part of that storied rivalry. And, uh, her teammates, the coaching staff, all so supportive of, of Becky and Luke. And Luke here in attendance, but no Mason. Mason stayed home. I love it. They thought it was a little bit too cold here in Omaha. It was like 55 degrees here, but certainly not as warm as sunny Southern California. It's a December heat wave. It has all of us uh, on the ESPN crew very excited. Kill by Caitlin Sather. Caitlin by Sather UCLA. gets the kill. Back to serve for the Bruins, Becky Berry. 7-6 Huskers here in game three. Here is Merrick with the jump serve. And the error. UCLA, which prides itself on its tough service game, not serving as well as Andy Banikowski would like. It just hasn't had the impact in games two and three that it had in the first game of this match. Stahl serving. Spicer looks to Daly. Pavin had the line covered. 
to hit point Double UCLA. contact called. Returning for the Bruins. Uh, Rachel Holloway, the redshirt freshman Back center. Third, graduated Johnson. high school a year early to head to Nebraska. Redshirted last year. Has developed a wonderful friendship with the senior Sarah Pavin, who's helped her so much this this year and last. She's had to deal with homesickness, and now Sarah's really helped her through it. There is Holloway. Try to dump it over on two. Daly with the kill. Kill by Ellie Daly. Point UCLA. Holloway's been in the U.S. national team pipeline for the last three years. Was the junior national team captain and certainly very qualified to step in and set this team as a freshman. Coming off a career high, 65 assists since the Minnesota win in the region final. And it's been nice to hear John Cook talk about Holloway and the relationship that she has with Pavin and that the freshman was actually able to help the senior. Sarah Pavin is known as an introvert, very quiet, calm and collected on the court. And Rachel's taught her to have a little bit more fun, loosen up a bit this year. Here is Holloway serving. Spicer to Sather. That one shanked into the crowd. Ties it up at nine all. Into the Bruins lineup, Jade Machado. Machado will serve. Sather departs for Jade Machado to come on to serve. The sophomore from Encinitas, California, who had a dad that played volleyball on the men's team at UCLA and won a national championship. He actually won two national championships under Al Skates, her dad, Eddie. So certainly a Bruin family and her younger sister, Jasmine, coming to play volleyball next year at UCLA, of course. Pavin. Bruin women looking to join the Bruin men who won their 19th national championship last spring. Spicer to Merriweather. Holloway was down to scoop it up. And Pavin with the kill. Making it look easy. Fourteenth kill for Sarah Pavin. Jordan Larson. The junior from Ontario, Canada. Larson. Four hits called on UCLA. That initial attempt never got over the net. 11-10 Huskers. Spicer to Merriweather. Larson plays it over. Merriweather again sliding behind. Good Nebraska defense. And then Buster called for the double contact. We talked about those 19 men's volleyball the titles. There's Al Skates, known as the other Rally Wizard of Westwood. And yeah, he just saw himself on the Jumbotron. <laughs> <laughs> A little go Bruins supporting the women's team. That was a Cinderella effort uh, from the men's team last year. They had all kinds of struggles in the regular season, and Skates got them going for the postseason. Skates will always, no matter how bad a team is at the beginning of the season, now Skates has an amazing magic ability to get its team playing its best come tournament time. He is responsible for the most Bruin national championships with 19 of them. The athletic department has a total of 99. Kill by Sarah Pavin. And a record crowd, the largest crowd ever to witness a college volleyball game here in the United States at over 16,000 fans. It's been sold out for a year ever since the tickets went on sale. A sea of red here at the Quest Center. We are all even at one apiece here in the match. Merriweather with another kill. By Meta Merriweather, point UCLA. There are the, Bruins, the national Johnson, championships. There's 99 of them. Three teams have tried for 100 and come up a bit short. The softball team last spring, and then both the men's and the women's soccer teams were in the final four of their respective sports. Left the door open for Andy to do it. He would be the perfect fit for it. Andy, the first college coach in the women's game to be inducted into the Volleyball National Hall of Fame. I mean, so many firsts in his 40-year career. And I don't think that it speaks to the Bruins' inability to win a title. I think it speaks to the depth of the athletic department that they've already had three teams playing for national championships. They thought they'd have that third national championship from a year ago were denied, stunned by Washington in the national championship match, and now they are back trying to take care of what they consider to be some unfinished business. And I, I agree with Andy.
Randy getting off the bench here. That was a tight, tight call. The up official calling a double contact on the setter Nelly Spicer, and he has every reason to question that one. I believe his words were, you have got to be kidding me. Remember, they had a similar call go against them on game point at the end of game two. And they called again a lift on Nelly Spicer, and neither one I agree with. And now the, the Bruins have to regain their composure. And this is critical, and you into see Katie Bruins Carter come back into the match. Carter. I think that's important. Try and get as much semblance of normalcy as you can. Merriweather's still on the bench because she's in the back row, and right now the Bruins have got to stop the Nebraska momentum. Pavin with a big serve, and the ace. She hit barely over 100 in game one, so since then, close to 500 on the floor and it's all Nebraska right now the timeout cannot stop the momentum an 8-1 run Pavin with another tough serve and right now the Huskers just feeding on the enthusiasm of this Red Sea crowd and once again, it's a rotation that has Merriweather on the bench. Another ace for Pavin. And Banikowski has to burn another timeout. And is a probably in line to become a four-time All-American for the Huskers. The latest in a uh, long line of really good players in Lincoln. The overpass, and again, Pavin serving. It really hurting UCLA. Wow, and a net fall on Nelly Spicer. She's shaking her head, telling her coach, I didn't do it. Andy again up and frustrated. Also frustrating that her two, the two timeouts he burned didn't ice the yep. server. Pavin's still hot. Another overpass. The serve received. Letting down UCLA right now as Pavin is killing him. In for the Bruins, Caitlin Sather. And UCLA without any timeouts. Merriweather on the bench saying, what do you do? What they need to do is side out and rotate to get Nana back on the floor. Spicer to Johnson. Trying to end a run of 10 points in a row on the Pavin serve, and they finally do with the block. Stop and nope. Block. Rachel Johnson, Katie Carter, point UCLA. Yep, point UCLA. And that was nice. The Husker Nation the volleyball fans <laughs> applauding Sarah Pavin's effort during that rotation to go on a 10-0 run. Mancuso puts it into the net, and there's a couple UCLA. in a row by UCLA. Still a spectator. Stalls hammers that one. Ten kills now for Stalls after she had just one in the opening game. Or none in the opening game, excuse me. Schwartz on the serve. There gives UCLA a point. In for the Bruins, and serving Jordan Smith. Jordan Smith, back out there, the sophomore from Corona Del Mar, California. Plus brings pass to Holloway. Here comes Jordan Larson with the swing. The whistle will go against Nebraska. Another point back for UCLA. Point UCLA. Uh, called for the back row attack. from the back. Diamond, Valley Bailey. Free ball for UCLA. And handled to perfection by Rachel Johnson. Both USC and Nebraska going undefeated in those seasons that they won the title. Been just a remarkable run over the last 
14 years for Stanford with those six national championships and eight trips to the finals and another whistle that has befuddled Andy Banikowski. And you can't blame him for asking questions. He has got to be so frustrated. It is very lopsided and very tightly called tonight. Mary Blaylock, our up official, Patsy Malta is down. Yes, Service error from Stalls. And now finally, number seven blue Nana back Meriwether. onto the floor to John Cook's chagrin. Nana Merriweather back in for UCLA. 11 kills so far on the night. While she was out, the highlight for Nebraska was Sarah Pavin serving 10 points in a row for the Huskers. UCLA trying to fight their way back into it, and immediately Merriweather makes an impact, helping out with the block. Nice timing, good lateral movement, a bit of a swing block technique, and then the emotion that Andy Banikowski talked about. That is what the Bruins thrive on. Allie Daly was the other player over there for UCLA, back within five. Holloway to Pavin out of the back. Kill by Sarah 16th kill of the match for Sarah Pavin. And she just continues to get better and better. And you look at how stoic she is. You would never know that she just got a kill or hit an error because she just is steady Eddie throughout the night. All away serving. Nellie Spicer with the back set. Sather gets the kill. Nice job by Spicer getting Sather one on one. Good deception running a nice quick offense and that's again one of the Bruins strengths that they need to continue to work on. She's double digits in kills now and Sather came into the starting lineup when Colby Lyman became the uh, everyday libero for UCLA back in mid-November. They really got hot. Big defensive play from Smith but then the Bruins go long on the swing. In for the Huskers, Danny Mancuso, serving Jordan Larson. Jordan Larson. Daly has it blocked. Cooper and Pavin were there. And that one off kill of Cooper and out. So Daly gets the kill. Nice use of the hands the by Rangers Allie Daly. A transfer was the 2005 Daly. Big West Freshman of the Year from Long Beach State University. And we've seen a lot of transfers here. Important to remember the rule is you can transfer out of conference without sitting out if your coach releases you. But if you transfer within conference, you sit out a year. So we see in volleyball, you can have an immediate impact. Point and a chance to play for a national championship, and now the Huskers are two points away from taking control. Danny Busboom. Spicer goes to Merriweather. Jordan Larson there defensively. They'll give her a swing out of the back. Carter went for the kill, missed it wide, and it's game point, Nebraska. Looking to take the 2-1 lead. And the service error down the line. In for the Bruins, Rachel Johnson serving Five more game points that UCLA will have to fight off. Nebraska three hitters, Pavin in the front row. Stalls finishes it off. 